We're in a time where anyone can create information and put it out on the internet. Conspiracy theories, hoaxes, rumors, fake news, these things are all rampant. And people in many cases will rely on group membership as an indication of what is correct as opposed to, you know, correctness. We face a number of challenges as a democracy. I think what you see is a crisis in public trust. We're walking around with supercomputers in our pockets. We do a lot of things online. There's enormous amount of data, information, context, networks about us that have been collected. We're addressing this problem at Carolina by starting a new center, the Center for Information, Technology, and Public Life. CTAP is an interdisciplinary research center where we examine the impact of emerging technologies on the way that we consume and produce information. We have one of the most prominent groups of scholars who have been working on digital media and politics issues for over the last decade, all together at one university. The center is primarily funded by the Knight Foundation uh, over a six-year period. Eventually, we see this growing to be a center of uh, 24 to 30 people in the coming years. Right now, we have our hands tied in solving some of these problems because we don't have empirical research showing the reality of the problem. These are complicated problems, and so if we're not looking at it through the lens of sociology and psychology and technology, uh, then we're going to miss things. One of the goals behind CTAP is to be a public-facing research institute. We want to make research-informed recommendations uh, for what platforms could do differently, for how government should approach regulation, and ultimately what citizens can do. Success for CTAP will be that people are using the data that we produce. There are strategies that people adopt. We would like to be a leader in helping shape the information policies of the future.